investigating differences in direct and indirect scaffolding when explaining enemy behavior. Good game design is often measured on how well the game communicates its content to the players. There is a fine balance on how much information you want to have as a player, too little, and the game becomes frustrating, too much, and the game becomes boring. First, here are some examples showing how different games teach the players to For this project we limited the scope of our research to how enemy behavior is presented to the players, and how different ways of doing so impact player performance in a game. To investigate our problem we created a game with a number of enemy characters, whose designs were based on an initial survey on enemy appearance. Then, for each enemy, four levels with varying amounts of information about said enemy were set up, with test participants playing one version each. Randomized, the enemy looks like something else entirely. Indirect, the enemy looks normal. Direct, the enemy is a box, but text describing it is provided. Indirect and direct which combines both of the previous two. Following a test on 84 participants, the results were analyzed, and we found that players were better able to learn avoiding damage in the versions that provided information on the enemies. Players were also able to start completing levels faster in the versions with information provided about the enemies. However, the players that were provided the most information did not find the overall experience as good as players who only had indirect help available. <laughs> 